everybody, Glenn from Precious Beehives. I promised you I'd show you how uh, we uh, made a jig for our AZ frames. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through it. And I'm going to show you all the dimensions and how to put it together. Okay, this uh, jig is basically made up like the Lang jig is. It's made up of six pieces of wood. And I've put the dimensions on here. It's 18 and 5 16 from end to end. The total height on this is 9 and 3 8 inches. The end is 10 and 7 8 inches by 8 inches. And we have rabbits in the end that are 3 8 of an inch deep, 3 quarter inch. That's going to set that into place. And then we also have some uh, joints that we've put in here that will slide in to accommodate the holders of the, uh, the ends for the frames. So how this is going to work, and also if you notice on here we had to raise the ends up by 5 eighths of an inch and that's going to be so we can accommodate stapling in from the sides instead of stapling in from the top. Then your spacers that hold the frames are masonite, they're a quarter inch thick they're eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters by ten and an eighth, and we've just drilled some holes in it to put your fingers in, and these just slide right down inside here, and that's going to hold our sides of our panels. These uh, frames go to, together. It's a very very simple process. You take your side panels, and you just drop them right down between the masonite and the exterior. And this will accommodate 10 frames. Just drop them down in here. Just be careful not to knock one over, you're going to have to start all over again. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Put your 10 in. Once you got that done, now the masonite is set up that it's going to hold the top frame in place. So this is basically going to set right on top of the masonite and it's going to go in like this. I can't tip it up. Um, Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue the ends of the top frames, both sides, and that's going to slip in and it's going to rest right on top of the masonite. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue this all the way across with all ten of them, putting your glue on. And you got some time to work with it, so don't, uh, you don't need to rush yourself. Very simple system. If you've put Lang frames together before, this is basically the same thing that you do with the Lang. We're going to use a stapler with a, uh, uh, it's called a narrow crown staple, 18 gauge, 1 inch, and that'll slide, that'll staple in through the sides. So now all we want to do is just put a little bit of pressure on here. That's going to line all of these up and that's going to line all of our grooves up so that everything fits real nice. Then you're just going to take your nailer and go in and staple. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to turn it all the way around, and we're going to do the other side. So again, push it, put a little pressure on it, get them all lined up. You can see they're all nice and lined up on the taps, and go through and finish stapling taps of the hives or frames. Now we got them all stapled, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this whole thing, we're going to flip it up on its side, and flip it over. Now we're ready to put the foundations in, put the taps on. At this point in time what you're going to do is you're going to pull the masonite panels out, because those were holding the ends of the frames in place. Those come out, and we start inserting our foundations. They'll drop right down into the grooves. We'll put 10 of them in. Alright, now that we got all the frames in, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to glue the taps on. So again, we're going to take our frames, we're going to put some glue on here. We're going to set the frame into the top. And now what's going to end up happening is the frame is basically going to hold us up so that we're level at this point. Now you can do one at a time if you want and it might be a little bit easier. Put it in there, line it up a little bit, tighten it up, and repeat the process. Again, just gluing. Give it a nice little coat of glue. You also notice that we do have the slot in here that the foundation fits into. And just keep fitting yourself across. Get all 10 done. found this way a lot easier. It works just like the Lang frames do. So like I say, if you've done the Langs before, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. System works simple. There's no elaborate pulleys, multiple staple guns. Just a nice, simple little unit that you can build yourself. And like I say, if you're not up to wanting to build it, you can go to our website and check us out on that. We will have them available. Okay. Again, what you're going to want to do is Pull them all the way over to one side, put a little bit of pressure on them. Go through and put your staple in. Spin 
turn it around, do the other side. Just take the top off, and you've got all of your frames are nice and square, all glued together, and you're ready to go. Well, that's all there is to it. Thank you.